the viewers, especially kids and parents, welcome to Agamazing TV. I am Sir Jessica Sman and I will be your teacher in Science 4. Are you ready to explore the enchanting world of science? Now, let's go! Happy Halloween! Hello kids! Sir Jess here. Yes, hindi po Halloween ngayon. At itong nasa paligid ko ay wala po siyang kinalaman sa Halloween. Dahil sila ay hindi multo. Sila ay mga skeleton o mga buto. Sila ang topic natin ngayong araw. Ang Human Skeletal System. This is the image of the Human Skeletal System. And these are the functions. Number one, movement. Skeletal system provides points of attachment for muscles o tinatawag na skeletal muscles. Gumagalaw ang binti at braso kapag inihila ng muscles ang bone. Iginagalaw natin ang ating katawan sa pamamagitan ng buto at muscles. Number two, to support. The backbone is the main support center for the upper body. Hinahawakan niya ang ating ulo at pinoprotektahan ang ating likod. Number three, protection. The bones of your skull protects your brain. Your ribs protect your lungs and your heart from injury. Kaya kapag dinadamba natin ang ating digdi, hindi naaapektuhan ang internal organ such as heart and lungs. Number four, makes blood. Red and white blood cells are formed by tissue called marrow, which is the center of the bone. Meron tayong yellow marrow at red marrow. Blood cells ay nagpuproduce sa bone marrow sa loob ng ating buto. Number five, storage. Bone stores mineral, such as calcium and phosphorus, for use by the body. Ngayon naman, ang pag-aaralan natin ay ang composition and structure ng ating bones. At the time of birth, we have 270 bones. May mga buto na nagditikit-tikit habang tayo ay lumalaki at tumatanda. Kaya siya ay nagiging 206 bones. Ngayon naman ay dadako na tayo sa parts and functions of the human skeletal system. Skulls, it protects the brain. The brain is the command center of the body. Kaya dapat ito ay pinoprotektahan sa pagkaunto. Steroid, found inside of our ears. It is the smallest bone in our skeletal system. Pinatayang 2.5 to 3.3 mm ang sukat niya. Radical shoulder or polar bone. It is the only long bone in our body that lies horizontally. Sternum. It is a long flat bone. It shapes like necktie located at the center of our chest. Rib cage. The curved wall cage na pinoprotektaan ng ating heart and lungs. Ngayon naman, itatako tayo sa hands and shoulder. Humerus. Long bone from the upper arm extending to the shoulder to the elbow. Sa iba ba naman, meron tayong two more long bones. So, we have the radius and the ulna. Sa dalili naman natin, we have the carpals, the metacarpals, and the phalanges. Sa likod na naman natin, we have 33 small bones na tinatawag nating vertebrates. This structure is called spine or spinal cord. It helps to twist and bend. Inohold din niya ang ating body upright. Dako naman tayo ngayon sa lower part, pelvic bone. It protects the internal organs such as urinary bladder and uterus. It is also the biggest and the strongest bone of our body. Femur. 
the longest bone of our body located at the legs. Sa lower part of the legs, we have the tibia and the fibula. Sa ating feet naman, we have the tarsals, the metatarsals, and the phalanges. Ang ating buto ay made of collagen mostly. Meron din calcium carbonate, calcium phosphate, and minerals na good for heart and the brain. The combination of the collagen and calcium gives the bone flexibility and strength. Alam niyo ba na ang production of blood cells is called hematoiosis? Sa mga bata, ang hematoiosis ay natatagpuan sa femur and tibia. How many of you were able to get an amazing score? Yeah! That ends my discussion. I hope that you will learn something today. Again, this is Sir Jessica Sman saying, Be an explorer, be a discoverer, be an amazing you. This is Agamazing TV.